In this video, I'll show you how to run a paired samples t-test in SPSS. The purpose of the test is to find significant differences between the means of two related observations. In a paired t-test, the observations are defined as the differences between two sets of values. Each assumption refers to these differences, not the original data values. The four main assumptions are you must have a scale-dependent variable. Observation should be independent. The dependent variable should be roughly normal, and it shouldn't have any outliers. The null hypothesis is that the difference between the population means is equal to zero. In other words, no change. I have some data here for a weight loss program. My pretest is the weight before the program, and the post-test is the weight after the program. We controlled for factors like age and activity level. I want to know if the weight loss program works. In other words, is there a significant difference between the means for the scores before and after the program? Let's run the test. Click Analyze. Select Compare Means. Then click Paired samples t test. Click pre test. Then click the arrow. The variable moves to the panel on the right. Click post test. Then click the arrow. That variable is also moved to the panel on the right. Click OK. The first thing you want to look at is the means. We can see that the means for the pretest and post-test are different. We've got 175.4 pretest and 166.87 post-test. It does look as though there was a difference, but the question is, was that difference significant? The calculated sample mean, 8.533 is within the 95% confidence limits of 0.569 and 16.498. When we look at the significance for two tails, we see the value is 0 0.037. This is the probability the observed difference was due to chance. As a percentage, we can say that there is only a 3.7% chance the observed difference resulted from chance. If we're running the test at a 5% alpha level, we're looking for a p-value smaller than that. Our p-value is smaller, so we have some statistical evidence the weight loss program worked. We can reject the null hypothesis that the difference in means was zero. I hope you found the video helpful. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.